the beauty of getting all the main network to be with us is for you not only to hear from us, but also to hear the sentiment of the ordinary people. Everywhere we have gone to, that I saw your cameras, you heard the people saying, since Oshomole left, we have not had anything new. And you see the fond memories and the joy in the face of elderly women, young people, Osho Baba, they are shouting all of that. They can only do that because, fortunately for me, I was clear from the beginning when I was doing a lot of those projects. I do say to our engineers that this idea of so-called rural roads, I do not subscribe to it. You either build a road or you don't. And I, I summarize it by saying, to be rural is not to be inferior. And therefore, any road I did in Benin, the same specification will be used for rural roads that we are doing in any part of the state, which is why yesterday we traveled about 85 kilometers. You saw those roads, you see port roads. If you see port roads, those are federal roads. And you see that those people are ever grateful. The school we built with red roof, um, I mean a long span aluminum, with red color, you can see them talking about it with fun. The only downside is that Robasiki has not employed teachers. Some teachers have died, some have retired, they are not replaced. As a consequence, you have schools with three teachers. One is a headmaster, in the case of primary school, or a principal, in the case of secondary school, and you don't have teachers to teach. Which is why some of them, in the work community you heard in Runigbe to be specialized, they narrate in pain how they have to be contributing money to hire a teacher to teach in a government hospital. And you watch, I watch through your television, Obaseki saying that he has a do best. He's gotten an award. He just fraudulently defraud the World Bank. And those are things we are going to bring the World Bank not to stay in a Protea hotel and be fed with half truth and evil falsehood. We will take them to schools across the AT local government because it's a dust state. And show them those schools without roof. And they will see, they will see where they say how many teachers are there. Where you don't have light. You don't have light. Basically claim that from his, the desk, he can see whether teachers are at work or not. Where you don't have signals. Come on, uh, what about Boki to this and they have borrowed over 250 million dollars in the name of Edo Best. So anyway, our confidence flow more from his failure. And the, the worst thing is that he, and that's where are two leprous figures of the same leprous hand. Because Aswe is the chairman of Alagodaro, which is the brain bug, the economic team, the way I used to talk of my economic team. And Aswe could not influence, nor is he known to have complained, whether privately in electronic or media, about the competence of the government and the huge waste. Do you know when I was here, and you can check the records, our average monthly revenue was 3 billion. Sometimes we get 1.8 uh, billion naira in locally generated revenue. Because by the time I came in, the revenue generation was about, three, about uh, 30 million. Now it rose to at a point 2.1 billion. So last month, it gets on average about 16 billion now in a month. And what is he doing with it? He had depleted the civil service, replaced them with consultants. So when he says, I've done minimum wage, nice. But the civil servants are not there. They are using consultancy to do the job that the establishment should do. So the whole question of due process. Now, the way he ran the House of Assembly uh, with 10 people, those people have not forgotten. Number two, we have suburb, which ordered the law. It's supposed to be independent of the government. You have a, a chairman and a board. Now, suburb is only chaired by one person. There are no boards. Then you have a super deck. Because we are oil producing. By law, they are to manage the derivation fund that accrues to those state. Again, he has only one person there as chairman. There is no board. So who is giving approval for those monies to be spent? So he is wallowing in fraud. At least are terrible. The last thing I want to say, and I'm very, very sorry that I have to say this. But you know, Obama said, Mrs. Obama, Michelle said, when they go low, you go high. But this last edition uh, with Kamala Harris as the candidates, somebody has said to Michelle, no, when they go low, you kick them from the head. I was shocked yesterday to see Mrs. Sobaseki, the first lady, saying that our candidate has no wife. 
she is the most I, I'm sorry that she had to say that because here is a woman who has no child between him and Obaseki they have no child they are childless they are even not ready to adopt I mean I don't blame anybody if you don't have a child but people who have love for children they go to motherless home and adopt children they have not adopted they are, they are both in their 60s so you married with I don't know whether it's a contract or whatever it is but they have no child now our candidate not only have children he has invested in the education of those children such that you watch them on live television covered by your media stations where the first one that spoke is a lawyer the second one is a medical doctor and they address the crowd in a, in the south in the etc in the north and their mother was there but the children are well trained so the children have to talk now how can a woman and her husband in fact the Benin people have told me when Obasi started doing the thing he was doing fighting everybody including the other dad in this state they have a culture that if you don't have a child, they don't give you position of authority. Because you will, you will have no mercy. You know, there are things that our parents are supposed to do, they will say, because of my children, let me not do this. So, bad thing doesn't happen to my children. Also, the church, we say, when you have done do well, even if you don't seem to get the benefit, God can transfer those benefits to your own children. So a man who is childless, a couple that is childless, they don't have those sentiments, which explains the brutality why I should witness at uh, Oba Market. A woman who narrated how he was grabbed for 20,000 Naira fund for trading allegedly in, uh, by the roadside, and he was taken to uh, Oko prison, and she stayed there for three months. She ended up with a disease that now she has swollen leg. She also narrated another fellow market woman at Oba Market who was jailed by Obaseki's government over trading uh, by the roadside and the woman gave birth to twins in Oko prison and the lady narrated how after giving birth to those twins the woman passed away and she said she believed that the, the cause of death was the trauma of giving birth in prison so if you have a wicked heart like that and as well that is all part of it Two leprous figures in the same leprous hand, you know. And I saw him saying, you know, when we talk about he not being being an emergency as a man, I'm happy he went to Ewohimi, uh, where my late wife came from. And he claimed that I slept in his house. I cannot sleep in his father's house that was built in the 60s. My late wife had a house in his village before he died. Her house is more beautiful than Aswes. I could have stayed in Aswes' house. The house that his own children does not stay, right? And he showed photographs showing me city on uh, uh, canopy. Is canopy a house? So these guys have run sort of ideas, but we want to go to the issue. The issue is, Aswe Obaseki, show us the road you have built. Show us the schools you have built. Tell us the number of teachers you have, divide by, by the number of schools we have, and let's see the average number of teachers per school. Show us how Benin City has become Gele Gele Port because you did not deceive it. Show us why even the GRA, you cannot drive freely when it is raining. These are practical issues. Show us why the hospital I built on Airport Road, the most beautiful hospital I, I, I want to say in Nigeria, because look at that hospital and tell me another one that looked like that. Even when Buhari came to commission it, he asked me whether it's a, it was a bank or a shopping mall. I said, no, this is the hospital. Because we want to copy the best. I've gone to hospital in another part of the world. And you think it's a hotel. Now, and we, we, we um, put the state of the art equipment there. We have the inventory. Now he handed over that hospital to a general consultant, like you have a general contractor. And those people, if you are rich, you go there. Because they charge very high fees. If you are not, you go to Selah Hospital or Mushroom Hospital, you go and die. Lastly, those of you who have been reporting from Edo, you know that when I was here, I got over a hundred buses. You know, I said, we can't be using Okada, but to ban Okada, we must provide alternative. We had 100 buses, I call comrade buses, with green. Now they removed the comrade bus. But when you ask the people, time I see them, you see the way they wave, because they know that I provided those buses. And I made it a policy that if a child is going to school in uniform, you bought those buses free. If you are coming back from school in uniform, you board those buses free. The only way you can cheat is, if you're my size, not too tall, you put your two uniform, 
Maybe you catch it, but if they look at your face, they know that you are not attending primary school. Now, this that now, I do remember very well, and if you check your archive, you'll find it, where he brought some red colored uh, buses, and he invited me to commission a fake project. Now, today, none of those buses is in Edo. Not that they are broken down. I believe what he did is to invoice Edo State Government as having procured those buses at a price that is high. But what he apparently did is to loan those buses from his supplier. And once he has perfected the transaction of taking the money out, the buses have been returned to the actual owner. That's why you can't find them in, Edo, in, uh, in Benin. And I challenge you to show what those, where those buses are. If the one I bought 40 years ago on the road, what happened to the one he bought less than six years ago, five years ago? You guys need to not just hear from us. You need to do your own investigative journalism and establish the facts as you see them. Take your cameras and see the schools in Edo. My friend, Edo people can't wait for September 21st to sack this government and the leprous son he wants to bring, or leprous brother. Consultancy is not it. We don't need all those double-breasted suits. I have no apology. Who, don't, who can't speak any of the three languages of Edo State? We are not looking for an expatriate governor. Come on now. We want an Edo man who must be able to speak one of the three languages. I saw in the world small village try to speak Yoruba. I say, this is not a Yoruba state. But even those people in Yoruba is uh, the Lagos Yoruba. So report the facts as you saw them. You have followed us around the new Kakranis of this state. You have seen the people's reaction to me. That makes me feel really good. And that's why I'm not tired. When I see those faces, I can't but lend you that system. Osho, quick! Osho, miracle! Okay. I don't really want to say so.